Cancers! Welcome to the weekly love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is going to be from October 22nd to the 31st. So for those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly, or it could be energy from someone within your environment or someone you're energetically attached to. Sorry, I forgot. I didn't have my rings on. Hold on. And they're all tangled up. How did this happen? Give me a second, Cancer. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Cancer, what I picked up on in the meditative session, you're in your crab shell. You're very much in your crab shell. Keep in mind, it can be vice versa. This could be someone else here, okay? Um, but it's interesting how, I was, how it was being shown to me. It was like a dark forest. Like very specifically, they're showing me a very, very dark kind of forest. You could be in a forested area. You could be thinking about camping, although it's getting kind of cold for that. Um, you could just be in a big nature lover. Anyway, Cancer, it honestly feels a little bit like a pilgrimage or a little bit like a soul journey sort of energy or self-exploration whatever choices brought you to this you knew you cut oh, how do I put it this way you saw the dark forest <laughs> you looked at it and based off of the circumstances at the time and whatever you were feeling at the time you decided to go for it however now you're in the dark forest and there's no going back there's no going back it feels very much like a four of swords five of cups hermit hanged man kind of energy like very much alone quiet away from people even if you're around people you're away from them like if you're like at parties and stuff emotionally mentally you are somewhere else like you were you might physically be there but emotionally and mentally you were you're definitely somewhere else i think i guess i didn't cut this piece short enough <laughs> anyway sorry cancer it's been making me crazy all day um and you're in, you're in your emotions for sure. You're very much in your emotions. Some of you, it's almost like you're trying to figure out your purpose. This is interesting. Uh, Cancer, whatever you thought the truth was about your life or even just about a certain person or a situation, wasn't what you thought it was. It wasn't what you thought it was. Some of you, it's so extreme that it's like you're realizing you maybe didn't know yourself interesting that you maybe didn't know yourself um certainly you did not understand the people around you or you didn't see them for who they really were and again this could, this could just be a single person this could also be very career related where you're feeling like i am so not in the right place i'm so not in the right place i need to be doing something else this is not making me happy hence taking the trip through the dark forest here okay feels a little scorpionic too just being honest just because it feels very dark and very much like trying to figure things out Trying to figure things out in quiet and peace here. Okay, Cancer? I feel a very heavy, solemn energy. Some of you, this could actually be depression. Okay? Just being very honest here. Some of you, that you're going through a depressive bout, whether you're aware of it or not. <clears throat> but Cancer, either way, there's no turning back. There's no, turn, there's no turning back. And I do feel like you're holding a lot to yourself right now. Mostly because you have stuff to figure out. And keep in mind, this can be vice versa. This could be someone else you're connecting with here. Or someone that you know or, or that you live with or come in contact with every day. Um, <clears throat> um, but Cancer, uh, for some of you, this is definitely a depressed... This is a depressive bout, whether you're aware of it or not. But you're in it. You're in it. There's no going back to what you've known. So that's so what they're telling me. There's no going back to what you've known. You can only press forward, even if you can't really see your way out. Ooh, I don't like that. That's very heavy. But I feel a withholding here. I mean, how could you, how could you even, <coughs> I was about to say talk. <laughs> yeah. How could you even share what you're going through when you're not even quite sure yourself, right? How can you speak truth if you're trying to figure out what the truth is? I think you need to be a little alone right now, Cancer, or maybe you just need a little bit of, um, of an adventure. That can also be it, especially for those who are suffering through depression. You might just need um, you might just need a little bit of a change. That gave me the chills. I didn't like that. I'm pretty sure that was just my neighbors. I don't think I'm that loud. <laughs> <laughs> definitely don't think I'm that loud that was weird anyway cancer back to you um that totally threw me sorry guys that totally threw me for a second where was I where was I ah for those just suffering from depression from those for those suffering from depression or a depressive bout <clears throat> excuse me um 
you might just need a change, okay? You might need a change of environment, a change of people, because you, I can feel it being in this dark forest energy, you are already going through some kind of change because you're realizing whatever truth you had about a person, a situation, or yourself, or work, or whatever, any aspect of your life, or any person or persons in your life, is not the truth. That is already bringing a lot of change here that you have to deal with, so you might as well have some fun change, right? Just saying, you might as well have some fun change in the mix. Um, but I definitely feel withholding of emotions or withholding of truth, withholding of communication for sure. You just need to kind of be alone right now. You need to figure out your truth or the truth, okay? All right, Cancer, I know it was kind of heavy. I know it was a little, little heavy. Um, but let's go ahead and get the cards calibrated and see what else wants to come out during the pre-shuffle, okay? Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Okay. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 22nd to the 31st. Oh, did we get a peeker? Oh, yeah, we did. I thought we did. Ew. Eight of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy. I just feel like you're emotionally stuck right now. You're emotionally stuck. I feel like you're not going anywhere right now, and you're not backpedaling. Like, yeah, you're not backpedaling. You're not going forward. You're just kind of emotionally stagnant because you're trying to figure shit out for yourself, Cancer. You're, you, I gotta be honest, this feels a little, I was gonna say dark, the devil. Capricorn energy. Stickety stuck. Very stickety stuck. Um, Cancer, I don't like this. I really don't like this. There's something that's making you feel like you can't break away. For some of you, this is straight up depression. But the fact that the devil's out here, though, <sighs> devil can be a restriction. I'm also hearing obligation. Um, whatever you feel obligated to, Cancer, that you don't want to be obligated to is really affecting you emotionally. It's really, really affecting you emotionally, okay? For, for others of you, this is someone else's energy that has now intruded in on your energy, okay? So please be mindful of that. If you're around people who are very toxic, if you're around people who are very, very toxic, their energy is now rubbing off on you. Cancers, you're very empathetic. And you're also very intuitive. You're very open to other people's energies. Please be mindful about who you surround yourself with. Some of you, someone else's energy is quite literally affecting you energetically. And that's not fair. That's not fair to you. So please be mindful of that. I think you would already kind of have um, an intuitive little hit and get a little bit of the chills when I said that, if you're in that group here. Okay. Um, some of you, this is also an addiction. Oh, some of you, this is an addiction. You're having a really hard time beating. Okay, thank you. Some of you, I feel like, are trying to not indulge anymore in a vice, and I think you try to do it cold turkey, and I think you're not realizing it's actually making you a little depressed, so please be mindful of that, okay? Either way, it's it's not being able to move, not being able to move, being in that dark forest trying to figure the way out. It feels a little bit like a maze. You might feel a little lost right now, Cancer. Five of Swords in reverse. Oh, interesting. Venus and Aquarian energy. You're trying to pull away from people playing mind games for sure for sure, but you're also just wanting peace here. You're also trying to, you're trying to quiet your ego. I can feel, I can feel that, Cancer. You're trying to quiet, sorry, I'm like, <laughs> all up in my ear. You're trying to quiet your ego and the negative self-talk, which is good. You need to do that. You're very aware of that. You're very aware of that. And for some of you, that devil energy is just your ego. What the hell are the neighbors doing? The, some of you, this is just your ego getting the best of you right now emotionally okay because some of you are trying to get over addictions some of you need a change in your life because you're realizing some truths coming out that made you realize that maybe the perspective you've had is not the true perspective or not the true perspective how do i say that because for some of you it's about a person it's about a person or a group of people others it's about your career or even just yourself where it's like oh shit that's really the truth that's really the truth? Oh shit, I need to go and figure this shit out right now if that's really, if that's what exactly what it is. If that's really the truth about the situation or the person or myself or those people, 
oh shit, let me go figure some shit out then as to why I couldn't see that before. You know, it's like trying to make um, changes or adapting according to what you now know the truth to be interesting and it's kind of plaguing you a little bit because it's it's kind of a shock but it's also really weighing heavy on your emotions because i think whatever this truth is it's kind of shattered um a perception of someone or people or something that you really love or even something about yourself that you were proud of oh cancer that you were proud of crap oh cancer this feels really heavy this feels really heavy. Some of you are trying to forgive yourself. Oh my God, Cancer, where are we going with this? This feels a little bit like depression, guys. I know I'm still like a broken record, but it just is what it is that I'm getting here. Um, but mostly quieting your ego. Mostly quieting your ego. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Uh, cancer, for some of you, someone wants to uh, come forward to you, definitely from your past or someone that you have a history, ongoing history with. Um to say sorry, to say sorry about something, but they're stuck in their own kind of dark situation themselves. Like I said, this can be vice versa, but I do feel that for some of my cancers here. Someone does want to come in and have a lot of like gentle energy between the two of you. Gentle, civil, calm energy, serious too, serious as well. Um, but it's around, um, I just keep hearing I'm sorry. It's around I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but they're stuck in their own little bad situation right now. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for cancer. God, and then the last one we had for you, cancer, was really intense. Look, Knight of Cups in reverse. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. Yeah, for those where you're where someone's trying to come in to say sorry, it's about the way they treated you when it comes to emotions. They could have emotionally manipulated you or deceived you. They just didn't treat you right. Knight of Cups in reverse is my inappropriate lover card. Okay, so whatever inappropriate love is to you, whether it's being totally cold or totally loose to ever to everybody somewhere in between or very selfish or even narcissistic and like i said emotionally manipulative as well um others of you where it's you're quieting your ego because you're stuck in the dark forest here and you're trying to work through some ego stuff i really feel like you need to just be a little bit more gentle with yourself here okay i'm also getting something about trust with this um you need to be more gentle with yourself so what is this cancer Some some kind of truth has come out and it's just really changed the way you see things it's it's almost changed your whole perspective it's just like if i didn't see that what else did i not see yeah this is almost like you you got you had to go through the dark forest here cancer you got to sort through some stuff um but i'm getting something about trust here for some of you someone could have broken your trust someone could have broken your trust and now you're trying to quiet your ego because now your ego is all triggered because someone broke your trust see what else wants to come out and then we'll go ahead and get into the reading please bring forth messages of truth healing and love for those who need it for cancer sun moon rising venus and jupiter october 22nd to the 31st yeah the last one we had for cancer was really intense this feels really heavy too oh hoo -hoo. Ooh, three of cups in reverse cancerian energy some of you are breaking away from a social circle some of you are getting an apology for someone not fixing things that's interesting <laughs> So you're getting an apology from someone some of you like i said are getting an apology from someone who's stuck in their own situation who wants to come forward and be like look i'm sorry i didn't try to fix things sooner i'm sorry <laughs> justice on the bottom too um but i do feel breaking away from social circle others of you are dealing with addictions around partying and substances here um whether it's you as you're stuck in the dark forest and working through some ego issues, which relates to codependency and feeds these vices and urges for these vices. Again, those working through that. Others of you who you will be getting an apology at some at some point, not right now, it doesn't feel like right now, at some point we'll be getting an apology from someone who's stuck in their own vices or addictions, okay? And definitely some partying around that person as well. I keep getting emotional manipulation. Cancer, some of you just feel played. Uh, yeah. Nine of Swords. Gemini energy. Anxiety. Anxiety and fears. I'm getting a lot of heavy, solemn energy here, Cancer. Don't get too stuck in your head. I know you're in the dark forest. <laughs> okay? I know you're in the dark forest, and some of you who are going to be approached by somebody, they're in their own dark forest here. Um, but Nine of Swords is, a, is of your own making, okay? While you try to calm your ego and get rid of the negative self-talk and the ego kind of making you um, go into an even darker place while you're battling that and trying to quiet your, your ego mind here a little bit um, just remember the state you're in now 
it it's it's unnecessary as far as like the mental torture of it all okay because it's self-made white rabbit don't know what that's about white rabbit <laughs> Are we watching Alice in Wonderland? What is this? White Rabbit. They they keep wanting me to say that. White Rabbit, White Rabbit, White Rabbit. Um, you could be the year of the rabbit. I don't even know what year what years those are actually. I'm very unfamiliar with the um I'm I'm familiar with the Chinese astrology, but I can never remember the years. Like I know mine. <laughs> right? Of course, I know mine. I'm a horse. Uh the year before me is a snake. And I think the year before that. I just dated somebody with this one. Um, dragon. Yeah, I don't even remember. I don't know what the other ones are. I know 1957's a rooster. <laughs> and every 12 years after that, I don't know what the year of the rabbit. Um, so yeah, so, uh, somebody could be the year of the rabbit. That's interesting. They keep wanting me to say right, white rabbit. That's resonating for some of you. Anyway, let's go ahead and get into this reading, guys. I don't want to get stuck in a little loop there. And we are 15 minutes in. Jeez. So for those who are new to my channel or new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general. Messages come through for those who need to hear them, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. As you heard me set the intention. So keep it. just keep that in mind, guys. If it's not your story, that's okay. It's meant for someone else. And when they're this heavy, do you want it to be your story? I don't know if you do okay we are working with energy so just know that messages can be reversed or vice versa of course and don't get hung up on the gender of the cards nothing is gender specific we all have masculine and feminine energy uh time frame does not matter time is not linear it's just for organizational purposes here okay any other information uh or questions you might have you can find a lot of information down below i am launching vimeo sometime today or tomorrow well most likely tomorrow because it's like today's almost over <laughs> Today's almost over. So most likely tomorrow. So keep your eyes peeled for that. Okay. They're not extended. I feel like some of you guys went like, you guys are funny. I'm actually picking up on a lot of this stuff. Some of you guys just grounded that. Uh, they're not, they're not extended. Uh, they're actually the content I offer on Patreon. But only, you know, I did that because a lot of people were emailing me asking if I could make the videos for single purchase for those who just want to watch one sign. Okay, instead of watching all 12. But Patreon will be more cost effective if you're wondering if you want to watch more than just one sign. All right, there we go, cancel. Any messages? Oh, hold on. They just showed me something from the Lenormand deck. I'm just going to pull it out for you guys. They showed me the ship. Where's the ship? Where is this the last? Is it going to be the last card? <laughs> it's the very last card. The ship. The ship is about moving forward, and we have the Ten of Swords right there, and then three, we have communication. Cancer, you're moving on from something. Like I said, you went into that dark forest. It kind of feels like you didn't really have a choice, and now that you're in it, you're kind of like, God damn it, should I have done this while I'm here? Let me let me try to work my way through this, okay? Ten of Swords, though. You're either in a lot of pain or you're walking away from something. I feel like it's about an ending for sure, but there's communication to come with this, but you're withholding communication right now because you're trying to figure out your own truth about it, your own emotions, because some of you, your world got shook. I can feel that. Some of you, your world got shook with some truth. And keep in mind, guys, for the first half of November, as we have the new moon in Scorpio on the 27th, there's going to be a lot of shakeups like that. A lot. So some of you, this energy has not hit you yet, but everything has a pre-shadow effect. So we are starting to feel this energy a little bit as we get closer and closer and closer to the new moon in Scorpio. Okay. Um, it's aspecting with Uranus. So there's going to be a lot of tower moments, a lot of tower moments, a lot of shocking events, a lot of shocking truths, and earthquakes are also highly aspected. So please be careful of that or wary of that. And if you're in California, make sure tomorrow on the 17th, you actually do, you know, some kind of earthquake drill or just refresh yourself. Okay, just saying. All right. Cancer. So keep that in mind. But so, some of you cancers, your world got shook here. Okay. And you're just in reevaluation mode. And some of you, that's kind of a dark emotional place. Not that that's a bad thing. Just be mindful that if it's depression, that you're dealing with it. Okay. Any messages for cancer? Any messages for cancer? <laughs> cancer, I love you. There's the humor. Oh, there's the humor. I just heard there. They ain't shit. They ain't shit. Some of you are receiving some truths about, pe about groups of people in your life, your family, or your social network here, and that's been really upsetting to you. Any messages for cancer regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Any messages for cancer regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Ten of 
Ten of Swords. Where'd that card go? Ten of Swords. Gemini energy here. Yeah. You're carrying a lot of pain. Some of you feel betrayed. Cancer, some of you feel betrayed by some truths that have come out here. Others, you're just realizing that you have to leave a lot of shit behind and you're processing that. You're processing that. Okay? Whoa. Oh, yeah. See, I love it, Cancer. Six of Swords, Aquarian energy. Whatever's come out, Cancer, whatever truths you're realizing, it might be painful and you might be realizing that there's an ending taking place, even if there's a betrayal involved or not, but you're moving on from that. And that's what you're doing in the Dark Forest. You're literally going through the Ten of Swords, one sword in the Dark Forest at a time, to come out the other side with peace, with peace of mind. Page of Swords on the bottom, by the way. Um, wow, Devil in Reverse, Capricorn Energy. You will release yourself, Cancer. You will. You will release yourself. This is not going to plague you for too long. It might seem like it's been. It's going to plague you forever. It won't. You're going to find your way out. And if it's depression, you will find your way out. But please, please, if you are suffering from depression, that you're actively doing something about it. Please. Okay. Any other messages for cancer regarding love? October 22nd to the 31st. I just heard 23rd. King of Wands in reverse. Interesting. Leo energy could also be fire or air. King of Wands in reverse is someone who is not exactly committal. It's someone who, they can be the life of the party in a player-like way. Uh, the kind of person who's really all about the party and not about the cleanup. Let's put it that way. <laughs> and not about the cleanup. Um, it is also someone who can be a little impulsive or quick to anger, a little short-tempered. Someone who, who runs on passion. Who runs on passion and short term i'm hearing short term something about short term short term pleasures oh cancer some of you are working through those issues of short term pleasures some of you are realizing that you've been involved with people who only care about short term pleasures here and some of you could they could have been mooching off of you in that way very indicative of being a cancer unfortunately any messages for cancer regarding love Knight of Cups. I like it. Piscean energy could also be water or fire. This is kind of getting your footing again, Cancer. Getting back to the the lighter side of water. I suppose it's a darker side being the dark forest anyway. I guess that'd be dark earth. I don't know. Dark, dark watery earth. Whatever. Anyway, Cancer. I love that the Knight of Cups is here. Any apologies you're owed, you will be getting them. Well, oh, no, they said not necessarily. Okay. You'll be getting some apologies. If you if you are requiring apologies from many people, you'll be getting some. Some, not all. But apologies will be had. Regardless, apologies will be had here. But this is also holding your head high and moving forward. With your with with your heart intact. With your heart intact. There's also gonna be a possible love offer here. Okay. That you're giving or getting once you do this healing. Oh, interesting. Three of Swords in Reverse. Libra energy. Yeah, healing. Like I said, healing energy here. Um, also, this could be apologies. Like I said, the apologies that are also very much healing for you. Let's see what else wants to come out here, Cancer. You'll find your way out of the Dark Forest, I promise. Any other messages for Cancer regarding this spread? October 20th. They keep telling me the 23rd. They keep telling me the 23rd. October 22nd to the 31st. Ooh, magician. Mercurial energy, which is Virgo Gemini. Could also be Aquarius Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. I don't feel dark stuff with that. I actually feel very positive. I feel like you're going to be not only healing yourself, but stepping into a place where you can truly create what you want for yourself. Whatever this healing process is, it's, uh, it's elevating you. It's elevating you. You're going to be stronger than you were before. Any other messages for Cancer? Regarding love, they keep wanting to say the 23rd, it's making me crazy, October 22nd to the 31st. Oh, and the Page of Swords made a reappearance. Interesting. Cancer, some of you this involves writing. Some of you might actually write a book. Some of you might actually write a book. Um, something about writing, definitely really strong writing for some of you here. Um, if you guys are writing a book and you're not far from finishing it, I, there it, it will be successful. It will be successful. Some of you are going to be writing about this painful experience here, okay? Um, what is this eyeing? I'm getting an eyeing here. Um, Cancer, as you come out of this healing process, you or someone you're connected to has their eye on you. If this is someone you're connecting with, they have their eye on you. And you're going to come out of the dark forest feeling better, all healed and shit. 
and then you might get an offer of some kind. And if you're the one who has their eye on someone, you're waiting for all the heavy healing to take place in order to make an offer. But I feel eyes. I feel eyes. Definitely feel eyes. Overall energy. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Emperor. Aries energy, Taurus energy, divine masculine energy. Guys, this, this deck is called the Honest Truth. I feel like some of you guys just asked me that. It's called the Honest Truth deck. Information is below if you guys want it, but I do think it's sold out right now, if I'm not mistaken. Underneath that, we do have a Queen of Wands. Aries energy could also be fire or water. Ooh, with the Five of Pentacles. Taurian energy, and then we've got the Moon underneath that. Piscean energy could also be Cancerian for me as a reader. And then we've got the Hermit. Virgo energy, like I said. This is the dark force energy with the moon and the hermit. This is really trying to gain understanding and insight into your own emotions here. Um, it could also be insight into other situations, but I feel like it's about your own emotions because I was feeling that so strongly. However, emperor with the queen of wands and the five of pentacles. Uh, cancer, I feel like the emperor is the one going through the dark forest. I just have to be honest here. It could be the feminine energy, but I feel like it's a masculine energy going through that because that five of pentacles, I'm feeling more of that dark forest energy and it is over a heartbreak of some kind here. Most definitely. And then someone's trying to figure out how they feel about it. Yeah. So my masculine cancers, you can be a woman and just in your masculine energy, like dominant masculine energy. There's masculine energies going through the dark forest. But I love, I love where it's ending though. I love where it's ending with this magician and the page of swords here. It's very, it feels very, very positive. I feel like there's abundance at the end of that, but this is over a connection of between a queen, a queen of swords and an emperor here that's making this i feel like the emperor yeah making this emperor go through the dark forest so that being said let's look at the ten of swords and see what you need to actually process we use rider weight for this one ten of the ten of swords time with the ten of swords for cancer regarding love october 22nd to the 31st time with the ten of swords cancer regarding love October 22nd to the 31st do I have the ten of swords cancer is for some of you not for all of you uh this pain act someone actually left like someone actually left like bounced like moved <laughs> and maybe didn't say anything about it oh that's crazy that's really crazy not like ghosting but like actually just moved and left. Do I have the Ten of Swords? Do I have the Ten of Swords for Cancer regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? Do I have the Ten of Swords for Cancer? Do I have the Ten of Swords for Cancer regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st? So I have the Ten of Swords for Cancer. Let's see here. I, okay. Four of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, Cancer, whatever this is, however long ago it happened. Some of you, this is baggage from a long time ago now that I'm getting this. Four of Pentacles is holding on. Holding on for dear life, okay? Holding on for dear life. Some of you, this is not a fresh thing. Some of you, it is, but others of you, this is something that you've been carrying around with you. It's time to let it go. Time to let it go. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Some of you, this betrayal is about money. Money and power. Money and power. Some of you, this betrayal is about money or power. Or this ending, this pain that you're feeling is about money and power. King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or air. Feeling like this is a, the masculine energy again. The masculine energy again going through the dark forest. Uh, yeah, definitely for like my, my masculine energy can't Syrians here masculine water energy right here it's almost like a scar it feels like a big emotional scar cancer talking about the ten of swords talking about the ten of swords for my cancers regarding love october 22nd to the 31st Oh, I like it. Eight of Swords in a verse, Gemini energy. This is you releasing that shit. Yeah, Cancer, as you're going through the dark forest, you're just releasing the scar. You're getting a little plastic surgery <laughs> for your emotional scar here, okay? And it is releasing you, and it's allowing you to move forward. It's, allow it's allowing you to move ahead. 
Yeah, some of you, this is old baggage. Some of you, this is old baggage. I really feel strongly some of you are writing about this, okay? Tell me about Ten of Swords for Cancer. Tell me about Ten of Swords for Cancer regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Tell me about the Ten of Swords for Cancer. Woo, 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 okay? Oh, Cancer, we've got three of pentacles, Capricorn energy and the ace of swords. Some of you, this betrayal was at work. Yeah, some of you, this betrayal was at work and it was over power, it was over money, over greed even for some. And you released yourself from the situation and got the hell out of Dodge. I just heard bad contract, bad contract. Cancer, be careful if, be careful of signing any contracts now. I mean, especially we got Mercury retrograde going on. For some of you, this was a bad contract interesting and as you're going through the dark forest some of you might some of you if this is like um business related because i'm getting i'm getting this thing about money um if this is business related and you want out of a contract here um you might be offered one you might be offered a way out i did just hear settlement that's for some of you um but for those where this is more just like pure like romance broken heart fucking shit um you might have realized that someone's got a third party situation going on here and you're releasing yourself, and that really fucking hurt. On the bottom, we have Six of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be past life, soulmate, karmic energy. Also indicative of the past and family as well. Like I said, some of you, this is baggage from a long time ago. And you're finally releasing it. Others, this is, um, this is a betrayal or an ending around a soulmate situation here. I did just hear karma. Karma as well. Some of you, this was a karmic relationship you had to learn a lesson from. Either way, Cancer you're releasing yourself this comes in a lot of different flavors whatever this pain is for some of you new and old if it's for you you would already know by now with the way i described this energy and you're moving on you're moving on okay devil in reverse this is releasing codependencies releasing addictions releasing um any restrictions that you feel like you've had on yourself essentially more of the energy of getting out of the dark forest so i'm not going to touch that but i am really curious about this knight of cups and this three of swords in reverse okay if you're finding out there was a third party this is ending the third party right um and again this is also apologies for the back for past pain so let's look at the knight of cups mm. dude gilded Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Some of you where this is a third party situation, um, there's a masculine energy who's who's been resisting, 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 an ending of sorts where the, there's a third party situation and they're done resisting that. They're done resisting that because they're loosening the shackles. They're loosening the shackles, figuring out exactly how they feel about the situation. Time about the Knight of Cups for Cancer. I just heard Pisces. Time about the Knight of Cups for Cancer regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Time about the Knight of Cups for Cancer. Sorry, they showed me corn. <laughs> it's always weird when they show me shit like that corn okay maybe some of you guys like corn get your corn on i don't know that was weird <laughs> that was really strange so about the knight of cups oh oh okay <laughs> i was like what the hell there's actually a card like that in the um shaman deck hold on let me pull it out i don't is it called corn or harvest i think it's called harvest i don't think it's called corn but it, it's like a corn field that's so funny hold on i was like corn spirit okay I personally don't eat corn. But anyway, let me find the card really quick. That was funny. It's like corn. Oh no, it is called the corn. Oh, that's so funny. <laughs> Cancer, the corn. Uh, energy of 10, so cyclical energy. So yeah, closing out the cycle, the 10 of swords, getting away from this and heading towards the new. Quite literally, the magician with the one, heading towards the new here. Like I said, some of you are writing a book. They keep telling me that. Um, if you're not writing, please write. I think that's going to be very helpful for you at this time. Very therapeutic, very cathartic, very cathartic. Anyway, so the corn, <laughs> this is actually a really, really auspicious card. And it's interesting that it came with the Knight of Cups. Because like I said, for somewhere there's a third party situation. Um, this is honestly ending that third party situation and getting out of the, those constraints of that. Because someone's realized how they feel about the situation. Um, others, this is apologies for pain. 
apologies for pain the corn is literally harvesting abundance quite literally harvesting abundance and, pro and getting prosperity and stability okay let's look at the knight of cups Seven of the knight of cups for cancer Some of the Knight of Cups for Cancer regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. Oh. <laughs> oh my. We have the Hierophant, Taurian energy. Hmm. Okay. 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 And then we have I. Nine of Cups in reverse, Piscean energy with the Eight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy, and Ten of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Cancer. My masculine cancer is my king of cups here. You were releasing yourself. Definitely suffer some of you from depression, others of you from a drinking issue or a vice issue or issue with substances or partying. Either way, releasing yourself from disappointment and hopelessness as well and that dark forest energy. Ten of Pentacles in reverse, you're chasing down your stability. That's what you want. And some of you... Oh, do you see that? Just like got flown out of my hand. Anyway, some of you are divinely guided to this, Okay. Um, to breaking out of this, to doing this kind of healing work. Others of you are looking for true loyalty. Part of this truth that was so painful or this ending that had to take place, it's because there wasn't authenticity. Authenticity was lacking here. You felt like you realized people were not loyal to you or that someone in particular wasn't loyal to you. I feel like it's many people, to be honest with you. I feel like it's many people. And that you also need to be more loyal to yourself. Be more loyal to yourself in the way that you're loyal to others. You're just too loyal sometimes, Cancer. And that's okay. Well, no, it's not okay. But it's what, it's what makes your heart so special. And Cancer, where you're getting an apology, someone's guided to do this. Someone's guided to do this, to give you this apology. Why do I feel commitment really wants to come in here? I feel like it's about loyalty, though, at the end of the day. Talking about Knight of Cups. Six of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. This is making amends. Making amends and getting apologies. Some of you might actually get, um, again, I was getting that, like, settlement energy. Some of you guys might actually get money because of this so you guys might get money because of this money that was been owed to you oh that was taken from you oh cancer mm, money that was taken from you so i have the knight of cups so i have the knight of cups for cancer regarding love october 22nd till the 31st overall energy oh we've got an empress uh, Libra energy, Taurus energy, divine feminine energy we now have the emperor to the empress here uh cancer this is interesting because I feel like there is conversations happening here with this healing process. Most of you who are in this dark forest energy, my king of cups, my more masculine cancers here, this is mostly just your healing process and like really kind of tending to your wounds, giving love to yourself here, okay? And that will be leading you towards abundance. Empress is, Empress, excuse me, is abundance and growth. Yeah, it's abundance and growth. But to be honest, your cancer, I also feel apologies to an empress energy as well apologies to an empress energy in the name of loyalty from an emperor okay cancer you know sometimes let's have a little chat sometimes when we're not in our on in our authentic jesus i can't speak in our authentic energy or we're around inauthentic energies uh it causes us to be inauthentic to people who are authentic Okay, so cancers, that might also be why some of you, this realization is a little painful for you. Again, my masculine king of cups cancers here. In the midst of dealing with inauthentic people, maybe you weren't authentic to authentic people. And so maybe there's some apologies to be had there. Either way, I really like this energy because there's a lot of balance here. I'm also being drawn to uh, the fact that we have two sixes. Oh, actually three sixes. Six of swords, six of cups, six of pentacles. Okay. Um, it's very positive. It's very healthy. It's, it's a little hard. I'm getting it's a little hard here. It's a little difficult. Um, but it's very healing. It's very healing. Now let's go to the magician with the page of swords. Yeah. Let's look at the page of swords and then we'll pull some oracle cards, okay? Mm. Legacy. Legacy, legacy. Talk about the page of swords. Talk about the page of swords. For cancer what about the page of swords for cancer regarding love october 22nd to the 31st what about the page of swords for cancer 
regarding love, October 22nd to the 31st. I keep hearing that song Tequila by Dan and Shay. I'm pretty sure I just really like that song and it's just stuck in my head. I mean, I did actually get it as a channeling, but I won't go into that, that's personal. Um, but yeah, I'm like, I don't know why that's like so stuck in my head and I can't stop hearing it as I'm doing your reading. Um, if you don't know that song, look it up. It's actually, the music video is a little intense, actually now that I think, and there's a forest involved, oh. You might wanna watch that music video. It's called Tequila by Dan and Shay, okay? Tell me about Page of Swords. I don't actually like the ending though. Sorry, I know this doesn't matter. I actually don't like the ending. I think the ending is very not healthy. Oh, Page of Swords. We got the Two of Cups, Cancerian Energy, also Soulmate Energy for me as a reader. With the Nine of Swords in reverse, Gemini Energy. Fears and anxi anxieties are dissipated as something is manifested here. Like I said, for some of you who are writing, it's very cathartic and it's very healing for you, okay? And it also relieves your fears around trust and loyalty and love especially. Someone might have a Venus in Cancer placement, but not necessarily here, okay? Um, but I also feel like I said, conversations will be had, right? Conversations will be had. And for some, I said, you have your eye on someone or someone has their eye on you. Well, whatever truth is spoken and whatever is gonna be created here, it's really um, getting rid of all the worry and concern, concern. Oh, shit. We have three more cards fall out. Hermit, Virgo energy with the Page of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Capricorn energy could also be earth or water here, okay? Um, like I said, my masculine Cancerian energy is my King of Cups. You, you've been in the Dark Forest. Dark Forest, Page of Swords with Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like this is you watching. More watching, more watching, more watching. Watching someone who's not giving energy to you. Watching someone who's not giving energy to you, I also feel like speculation about loyalty. Queen of Pentacles in reverse can be a disloyal spouse card or a disloyal partner card. In Cancer, all of these revelations you're finding out are about people who are not on your side, whether it was through a bad contract or people who are just inauthentic or people who are betraying you or people who are stealing money from you. All the things I listed before. You got your eye on people and you're speculating who's really authentic and who's not, just make sure you actually make the correct decisions and discernment in who really is on your side right now, okay? Don't be too quick to jump the gun. I don't think you are, but just make sure you're making the, the proper choices here in your discernment. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. Tell me more about the Page of Swords for Cancer. Yeah, I can't get off of this. Some of you are definitely writing about this experience. Tell me about Page of Swords for Cancer. Regarding love, October, oh, that's it. Uh, three of Wands in reverse, Aries energy and the Five of Cups, Scorpionic energy. Oh Lord, there's some of the heaviness. It's almost like everything you're going through in the dark forest is all wrapped up in one little package in this Page of Swords energy. I feel like you're gonna be talking to someone about this. A lot of you are writing about it. And again, if you're not writing, please do. It'll be very cathartic for you. Um, but I do feel, I do feel communication with this too. You might, you might just flat out tell someone like, this is how I've been feeling. This is what I've been going through. Three of Wands in a verse of the Five of Cups. I feel like this is the epitome of, I don't know the way out. I'm in a dark place and I don't know the way out. And at the same time, I'm keeping an eye on everybody. And those especially who I think are being disloyal to me. And whatever writing or communication is taking place, it is very much healing for you, Cancer. Very healing for you. And I feel like you are going to be talking to someone, specifically an empress here, where it's just going to make everything kind of dissipate and heal even more. Overall energy, we have Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy, bad investments. I feel like, I feel again, more speculation with that, because underneath that we do have, oops, we've got the Two of Wands, Aries energy. Where do I go from here? If I go left, is that a bad investment? If I go right, is that a bad investment? You're learning to also rebuild the trust in yourself after realizing the people who really haven't had your back, the people who've been, who betrayed you, um, betrayed your loyalty, betrayed your trust. I know there's a lot of stuff we're unpacking here, Cancer. Either way, you're learning, you, you're, you're in a place where you're trying to learn to trust yourself again. And some of you are gonna be talking to an empress uh, who's gonna restore that for you, help help restore that for you you're redoing you're doing it for yourself let's be clear okay cancer very heavy stuff but let's go ahead and get some advice here i'm probably gonna have to stitch these sorry in advance all right oh <coughs> hold on 
Hi. Okay. Any advice for my cancers regarding this spread? 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 So me where this was actually a disloyal partner or spouse or I just actually heard fiance. Interesting. Ooh, horse spirit freedom is yours, cancer. I love that you are going to break away from this. You will. You will find the light at the end of the dark forest tunnel. Okay? You will release yourself. You will move ahead. You will move on. And everything will be right in the world. You will be free of this. You will be able to shake the shackles of the devil in this situation and you will be out of the dark forest soon look at all that light on this on this card look at all that light that's beautiful um those of you where this is about a disloyal spouse or partner here i do think you actually did see something you might have actually seen um your partner do something that was really not kosher um that's not cool that's very careless too i might have it's very careless anyway you know, I guess that's also why I don't, oh, sorry. I guess that's why I don't understand why people cheat. You know, like in big ways, like where you actually can like be seen cheating in that way. Like, uh, it, it just takes a lot of work, right? It takes a lot of extra time. Anyway. Oh. Oh, squirrel spirit, believe in yourself. Hold on, why is that not focusing? 57, that breaks down to a three, which is which is communication, okay? The three, break, the three represents communication. This having the confidence to communicate what you need, to communicate the truth, have those hard conversations. Like I said, for some of you, there's gonna be conversations with an empress that it's gonna be very healing for you. These conversations and confidence, and also like facing some hard truths here, is gonna help you break free from this. And you're gonna feel so damn good, Cancer. You're gonna feel so goddamn good. Any other advice? Ooh, giraffe spirit, see the big picture. Everything happens for a reason, Cancer. That's what I actually got from this. Everything happens for a reason. 29 breaking down to an 11. This was, this was something you had to learn. You had to go through this for a reason. It's helping you grow. It's helping you learn more about yourself and people and how you want to handle relationships. And even just maybe how you might go about handling people moving forward, okay? It happens for a reason. Any other? Ah! And spirit, time to collaborate. Energy of one. My emperors, my king of cups. Like I said, you're talking to an empress. You're talking to someone who knows what you've been through. Thank you. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, they want me to say that again. You're talking to someone. You're sharing your experience with someone who knows what you've been through, okay? You might actually do a business deal with them. Like I said, for some, there's an, there's an energy of a bad contract. And the way out might be a new one. A new one here, okay? If you get an offer like that, especially from an empress, it's going to be worth the effort. Or with your time. Any other advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Any other advice for my cancers regarding this spread? Okay, now we have, we got two cards here. Oh, the coyote, of course. Coyote spirit, uh, time for divine detours, or take a divine detour? Trust in divine detours. <laughs> Trust in divine detours. 16 breaking down to a seven, and you have scared beetle spirit. Magic works through you. 52 breaking down to a seven. You got two sevens that jumped out here, okay? Not to mention, I just noticed this. Three, three, three. You got synchronicities all over the place. You got three sixes, you got three threes, you got two sevens here. <laughs> Technically three if we're counting that, but we're not. We're not counting that. Anyway. So Coyote Spirit, for those who are unaware, Coyote Spirit it basically knows the grand design. They know the blueprint. They know what's supposed to happen, where people are supposed to be. They throw the curveballs to get people in the right place. And Matt and Scarab Beetle Spirit, that's a manifestation energy and a destiny energy here. Destiny is at play here, Cancer. And whatever truth has come out, as devastating as it is, as, as much as you got shook, by whatever it is it happened for a reason you met these people for a reason you had to come to the truth in this way for a reason and it's helping you to basically start to collaborate with an empress to some extent whether it's just business or building a friendship or more than some of you you're going to be writing a book because of it either way it all happened for a reason okay and trust that just trust it 
Overall, yeah, brown bear spirit, take a time out. Energy of nine, this is, oh, ah, there we go. This is my hermit card in this deck. And that's exactly what you're doing. You're going through the dark forest and take your time go getting through there. Really take your time getting through there. It's, it's a very, you know, intense healing process. You're sorting through a lot. Your perspective of a lot of things are changing and that's okay. And keep in mind, Cancer, all this can be vice versa. Someone you're connecting with can be going through all of this. So if you if you know someone who's like retreated quite a bit and you're not sure why, they could be going through some serious shit. And I do still feel that holding back of communication while you're while you're going through this, and that's not a bad thing, okay? And like I said, how can you speak the truth if you're sorting through the truth yourself, right? So take this time. Take this time. Oh yeah, see underneath that? armadillo spirit set healthy boundaries with the energy of three again communication push out that communication while you're going through this time period of going through the dark forest and then once you've done your healing process and you understand why all this happened and you can see the wood for the trees you can see the light and at the end of the dark forest tunnel you'll be able to break out and have the confidence to have the conversations to break out to maybe start talking to an empress or, you know, again, empress could just be a friend, a coworker, whatever, someone who's authentic that maybe you didn't know was authentic because you were around inauthentic energies. Make sense? Yeah. Cancer. I like it. I like it a lot. Either way, you're going to feel damn good by the end of this, okay? It's all for a reason, Cancer. And it's making you stronger and it's helping you elevate yourself, okay? All right, Cancers, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon, check that out, along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Cancers. Namaste.